Hello friends, welcome to all of you in Dr. Jaggi's Academy. Today I am going to start metal and non-metal. In this lecture, I will teach you physical properties of the non-metals and metals. Let's start. So well students, in our daily life we use a different things that are made up of a metal and metal, non-metal and that play a very important role in our daily life. The some common example of the metal that use in our daily life are iron made up of chains, second coins that is made up of a silver, jewelry that made up of gold and utensils made up of a copper and aluminium. The next, the non-metals used in our daily life are the firecrackers which are made up of a sulfur, fertilizer which contains phosphorus mainly, third one is uh, betadine which acts as an antiseptic and used for healing the wounds and that contains iodine as a non-metal. Third one, last one is the coal that contains carbon. So next one is metal versus non-metals. The metals and non-metals they are different due to difference in their physical properties. Means they are difference with respect to their shape, size, color, appearance, etc. The next metal and non-metal they are different due to difference in their chemical properties. Chemical properties means how these metal and non-metal interact with another reagents and to form the different product. The first I will discuss the physical properties of the metals and non-metals. Though we have various physical properties of metal and non-metals such as uh, in this case each metal and non-metal has phosphoric appearance. It means metal and non-metal may be present in solid, either in solid, liquid or gaseous state. The second physical property is color. The most of the metal they are present in different color may be in that is a black, white, blue, green, bluish, yellow, uh, reddish yellow. Third one is shape. The metal and non-metal they are exist in a different shapes like rod, cylindrical or spherical. And last one they are differ with respect to their size that is small and big. The next one is chemical properties of metal and non-metal. In chemical properties are those properties in which metal and non-metal they interact with another substance to form a new product. Here I am taking the example of iron chains that when they interact with the oxygen then to form a, uh, a rust. Rust actually is a new product. It is a different from a iron. So it is a chemical reaction. The next I am taking example of fuel that mainly contains carbon. When they interact with the oxygen, it forms different gases with the release of lot of energy. So first I will discuss the chemical, chemical prop, uh, sorry, physical properties of metals and non-metals. And we have a various physical properties of metal and non-metal such as number one is appearance or we can say that lustrous, second one is malleability, third one is ductility, fourth one is conductivity, fifth one hardness, next is sonorous and next is tensile strength and the last one is melting and boiling point. So these are uh, the physical property that we will discuss in this lecture. The first uh, physical properties of matter is the appearance of metals. The generally metals are mostly solid except one that mercury which exists in a liquid form. The generally the metals are lustrous means they have a shining appearance and due to their shining appearance they are used for jewelry and decoration pieces. So here I am taking the example of gold and silver. Due to its lustral nature, they are used for uh, jewelry articles such as a bangle and earrings. The next one is appearance of non-metal. So non-metals are generally solid and gases except bromine as a metal which exists in a liquid state. The next one, non-metals are dull in appearance instead of shining appearance. For example, phosphorus and coal that mainly contain carbon. 
The second physical properties of metal is malleability. Malleability, mostly metals are malleable nature. It means they can be bitten into a thin sheet with the help of hammer. For example, I am taking the example of iron metal. When it is bitten with the hammer, then it is converted into a thin sheets. Among other various metals, gold and silver are the best malleable metals. The next one is malleability of non-metals. Non-metals are not malleable nature. It means they can't be hammered into a thin sheet. But however, they are brittle in nature. Brittle means they are breaking into a smaller pieces with hammer. For instance, I am taking the example of coal that contain non-metal carbon. When it is hammered with the hammer and it converted into a coal pieces instead of thin sheet. So that is why non-metals are not malleable in nature. The third physical properties of the metal is ductility. Ductility means the metals are generally tactile in nature. In other words, we can say that there is a formation of thin wires from the metal by stretching. Here I am taking the example of iron metal. During stretching, it is converted into a thin iron wires. So among the various metal, gold and silver are the best tactile metal. The next is ductility of non-metal. Non-metals are not tactile means we can't be converted into a thin sheet by stretching. However, they are brittle in nature means it breaks into a small pieces. For example, sulfur, carbon and phosphorus etc. The next one is the fourth property uh, is physical property is conductivity of metals. The metals are good conductor of electricity and heat. It means heat and electricity easily pass through the metals. For example, I am taking the example of an iron rod. When we heat in the presence of fire at the one end of this rod, then after some time that is a hole of the rod there becomes hot. It means the heat flow from hot part to the cold part. The next one is electricity. We are using the electric wires that is made up of a metal and through which the electricity can pass from the main tower to our different places. Among the various metals, silver is the best conductor, whereas the other metals such as the copper, gold, aluminium, iron are good conductor of electricity and heat. The next one is conductivity of non-metals. The non-metals are bad conductor of heat and electricity. They are act as the insulators through which electricity and heat can't pass through it. For example, coal and diamond. Coal and diamond, coal means containing both are the forms of carbon and both are act as an insulator. Exception. The, another form of carbon that is a graphite through which is act as a good conductor of electricity and heat. The next one is hardness of matter. The metals are generally hard in nature. They can't be cut with the knife. For example, iron, gold, silver. But there is a few exception example of a metal which can be cut with a knife such as a sodium and potassium. Sodium and potassium are soft metals and we can easily cut with the knife. The next one is hardness of non-metals. The non-metals are quite soft and we can easily cut with the knife. For example, sulfur and phosphorus except uh, diamond. Diamond is a, a form of carbon which is the hardest in nature. Next is sonorous of metal. It means the metals are sonorous in nature. Sonorous means they produce a sound on striking with the hard object or a metal. For example, silver coin, bicycle bell or metal utensils, electric bell or bell in a temples. 
all are our metals and they produce a sound when they strike with the another metal surface the sonorous of non metals non metals are non sonorous in nature they don't produce a sound on striking with hard object example sulfur and coal the next physical property of the metal is tensile strength of metal the metals have high tensile strength it means they can hold a large weights on breaking for an example iron in a steel form has high tensile strength so due to its high tensile strength it is used to make bridges building railway lines machine vehicles and chains the next one is tensile strength of non metal the non metals have low tensile strength can't hold a heavy weight for example graphite and last physical property is melting and boiling point metals have high melting and boiling point for example iron have a melting point is 1 153 37 uh, 35 degrees celsius whereas a copper has melting point is 1083 degrees celsius exception there are some example of the metal which have low melting and boiling point for instance sodium having melting point 98 degrees celsius and potassium has melting point is 64 degrees celsius the next one is melting and boiling point of non metals non metals have low boiling point and melting point as compared to metals for instance sulfur having melting point is 115 degrees celsius there are few exception example of the non metal having low melting point for instance diamond having melting point is 35 degree 3500 degree celsius the next one is colors of metal the metals are usually uh, present in a gray and silver color example iron aluminum zinc but there are few exception uh, example of the metal having different color for instance uh, copper having a reddish brown color and gold they are present in a yellow color the colors of non metal non metal have generally different color for instance sulfur having yellow color phosphorus they are present in white black and red color chlorine present in a yellowish green color but there are few exception example of non metal which are colorless for instance hydrogen and oxygen are non metal they are colorless gases next i will uh, i will summarize the physical properties of metal and non metal the metals are generally lustrous whereas non metals are non lustrous mean they are shining appearance and they have a dull appearance the second physical property is malleability malleable malleable means metals are malleable nature it means they can turn into a sheet with a hammer whereas the non metals are non malleable third physical property ductile which can turn into a wire by stretching the whereas non metals are non ductile in nature metals are good conductor of heat and electricity whereas non metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity except graphite fifth physical property the metals are generally hard in nature except sodium and potassium which are soft metal and non metals are generally soft except diamond next sonorous metals produce sound or ringing sound on striking with a hard object whereas non metal they are non sonorous in nature means they don't produce a ringing sound by on striking with a hard objects metals have high tensile strength whereas non metal have low tensile strength the next metal have high melting and boiling point except sodium and potassium which having low melting and boiling point as compared to other metals on the other hand non metal have low melting and boiling point except diamond the metals are generally silver and green color except copper and gold whereas non metals they have different they are present in different color except hydrogen and oxygen which are colorless in nature so thank you